Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to test the pressures in your AC system and how to top up the system with Freon if you're low on Freon. So one thing you want to do is go purchase yourself a set of these gauges. This will help you troubleshoot any problems with the system and also to adjust, put, put the right amount of Freon into the system. You don't want to overcharge it. Um, with the 134A Freon, there is two, there's a high side and a low side, and you have two different size fittings, so it's pretty much impossible to uh, connect the fittings to the wrong ones. There's a larger one and a smaller one. The high side is the larger, it's going to be on a red hose, and the low side always has a blue hose connected to it. Okay, so when you connect up these hoses, you're going to want to look for a fitting that looks like this. This particular one is the high side. It's coming off the back of the uh, AC compressor. So you want to connect your fitting. You may lose a little freon when you do that, as I did. You want to make sure this valve is shut. You want to make sure all your valves on your manifold is shut. And you want to make sure the uh, yellow hose is connected in a loop like this. So it, it comes out and it loops back in. And there's an area right here to connect it so you don't lose any Freon. Then you want to find your low side connector, which on this car is right back here. And you want to connect up your coupler. Make sure the valve is shut also on that. <clears throat> okay, then what you want to do is start your vehicle up. your uh, system has been running for a while, what you want to do is make sure both your manifold valves are closed and you want to open your operational valves. That's going to let the uh, pressure go to the gauge from both of these valves. And make sure your compressor is cycling on. Take a look at the readings on your gauges. Side. PSI is on the middle, the black part of the gauge, that was right around 20. And we're running about 135 or so on the high side. So this is a little bit low on Freon. You can also tell it's low on Freon because the compressor is cycling on and cycling off in real short bursts like that. So you know you're low on Freon. Okay, now that we've got a reading off our gauges, we want to look at a chart like this to see what a normal pressure reading is. If you don't know the specific pressure your particular car is supposed to be, you can uh, Google it and you can find a chart like this. And on the left hand side here, it shows the ambient temperature and then it'll show you the average high or low and low pressure 
gauge readings you should be getting with a normal system. Then there's also a chart you should be able to find that helps you uh, diagnose problems with the system. Say just your low on refrigerant, your both gauges, your high and low side are low, add refrigerant. Uh, you're low on the low side, high on the high side, need service, possibly a blockage, etc. So this will help you diagnose uh, your gauge readings. Okay. To uh, charge up the system, we want to uh, connect up our yellow hose to the refrigerant, open the valve. We're going to open our low side valve on the manifold and open our low side valve, our service valve back here. That's going to allow some Freon to pass from the uh, Freon canister into the system. You can see in the sight glass there's some Freon passing into the system. And as it cycles on, it'll take a little Freon. Make sure your high side valve is closed here and your high side valve is closed at the fitting. Okay, just added some Freon to the system and it looks like we're running right around 30 on the low side now and about 100 and just over 150, maybe 155 or so, 160 on the high side. Those are pretty good numbers. The uh, compressor is not cycling on and off real short now. So I know we got enough Freon in the system. I don't want to add any more. If you start adding too much Freon, you have a good chance you could uh, damage your compressor. Okay, so when you're all done servicing your system, you're going to want to disconnect your gauges. You want to make sure your service valves are closed on both of these. Your manifold valves closed and your, your yellow hose is connected on both ends. And then you can disconnect your couplers without losing any Freon. Having these hoses fly all over the place. And there you go.